Welcome back to Face the Nation. We spoke Friday to former Secretary of Defense Bob Gates at the College of William and Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia, where he is chancellor. Secretary Gates' best-selling book, Duty, Memoirs of a Secretary at War, is now out in paperback. And we ask, among other things, what he thought about the nuclear deal with Iran. Well, first of all, getting the Iranians to the negotiating table in the first place was a, a success for U.S. foreign policy. They didn't come to the table out of goodwill. They came to the table because their economy was being strangled and the leadership was afraid they might get overthrown. So they're there because they have to be there. Uh, I think that the agreement, there's some specifics in the agreement that are very encouraging, but I, I have several concerns that I hope can be addressed in the negotiations between now and June. The first is the timing of the lifting of the sanctions. Uh, is it go are they going to be lifted right away? Uh, as long as the Iranians agree to implement the agreement, uh, or will be, they be phased over time based on performance, which has been our position all along. The second is verification. Unless we have sort of on-demand inspection at all facilities, including military facilities, I think there's a great potential to cheat. Third, I think that the, the, the idea of being able to have these snapback sanctions, that sanctions could be reimposed once lifted, is very unrealistic. I think that the pursuit of the agreement is based on the president's hope that over a 10-year period, with the sanctions being lifted, uh, that the Iranians will become a constructive stakeholder in the international community. That, <clears throat> that as their economy begins to grow again, that, that they will abandon their ideology, their theology, their revolutionary principles, uh, their meddling in various parts of the region. And frankly, I believe that's very unrealistic. What if we can't get a deal? What is the alternative? Well, I don't think the alternative is war. Uh, one alternative is a better deal. I think that you go back to the sanctions. I think you reinforce the sanctions. And you basically say, here are the additional things we need for this agreement to work and to be worthwhile. And an agreement that reassures our allies, or at least doesn't scare them half to death. Um, if they choose not to come back to the negotiations, but to race to a nuclear weapon, well, my guess is that'll show that they intended to do that all along, despite all their protestations that they have no interest in a nuclear weapon. But I think, I think, that there is a potential for a better deal.